there, DGTV. We are here in downtown Vancouver today for the open casting call for the Canadian version of The Bachelor. All these young women behind me here today are going through the process in the hopes that there'll be one of 25 women picked to live in the house and then hopefully, I guess, find true love. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> you know what, right now, I'm 23, I'm single, I have a job that like I can leave from and come back. Like, I'm not in school this semester, so if I'm going to do this and take a risk, I can do it now. When I was pushed by a whole bunch of my um, uh, classmates, I thought, well, you know, maybe it's not a bad thing to go and try out. So that's why I'm here today. And obviously, the end result uh, would be ideal to find someone who I'm compatible with. Mm -hmm. People always say, like, how is the Canadian version going to be mm -hmm. different? Uh, one of the things I'm excited about is to see if there are cultural differences that come out. If there's personality differences by the mere fact that mm -hmm. these women are Canadian and the bachelor's kid will have a Canadian feel, well, I'm as eager to find out as anyone else. I probably have more clothes on, I bet. This <laughs> yeah, is based, for a lot up, based of the on time. the weather, right? For a lot of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Getting the girls a bit boozed up. Oh, looking you're so for... cynical. Am I? <laughs> there is, there is, uh, it is uh, fueled uh, by alcohol and parts. I mean, mm -hmm. Again, I'm going to go to the core of it, which is uh, the sincere desire to fall in love. That is there. Um, but at the end of the day, you have 25 Cinderella's and one Prince Charming, mm -hmm. right? And then you have 25 Cinderella's and alcohol and 25 Cinderella's and ill-fitting shoes. I didn't say they usually and... lose their shoes yeah. after so many drinks. <laughs> We were each other's Valentine's Day. We were, we were yeah. our Valentine's Day. Yeah. Well, that's a couple of nice dates, actually. Yeah, I guess so. Shortage of good men. <laughs> yeah. Which is really hard to find. It's true. Everyone here is looking for a ring on her finger, right? And maybe not every guy's looking for that. So hopefully we'll get a good one. We don't have The Bachelor. Uh, there'll be more announcements uh, in a few weeks. I think, like, you know, there's some basic rules of being The Bachelor. He has to be rich, doesn't he? Well, not necessarily rich. He, he has to be hotter than the guy next to you on the couch when you're watching the show. We cast for one thing, that? and that's a sincere Boobs? desire. <laughs> <laughs> Two things. So we cast for one thing, and that's a sincere desire to fall in love, and I mean that. I mean, everyone says that, and when you put them all in the room, what happens to their real personalities after that? Well, we have to wait and see. Ask me a couple of the questions those producers are asking those young women. Uh, what are your greatest fears in life? Hmm. Well, this moment right now is the lighting I'm under while making a video. <laughs> that's a pretty big fear. How would your friends describe you? Bossy. Opinionated. I don't know, Arlen, how would you describe me? Some words. I'm bossy and opinionated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, like everyone else, to find love, to, to have the opportunity to take the adventure, uh, see what it has for me.